What's up guys? I'm going to show you the uh, passive infrared sensor. Basically this is a device that's used in intrusion systems, uh, whether it be home or commercial, and it's going to pick up a heat signature in the movement of that heat signature. And if it does do that, it will then put the system into alarm. Or depending on however you program your system, it will tell the system what to do in the event of seeing this heat transfer uh, of movement. But how about we open these things up and let's take a look at it from the front to back. So you notice we've got some holes that look like they could be drilled out. Some of them are already depending on your instance. You'll see most times these are mounted in the corners of uh, ceilings high up in the area, you know, top corner wall. And uh, opening these up is a bit of a trial and error thing, but most of them have the same thing. So you take a screwdriver like this and you stick it in the base and twist it. Once you've twisted it, then you could then pop the bottom and then slowly, very carefully wiggle the top because I want to show you a couple of the things that are in here that could go wrong. If you pull and yank too hard, you'll break these tabs. And if you break those tabs or if you break these tabs, there'll be nothing to hold the top on in place anymore. So everything about this particular type of system and all of its components requires a lot of finesse and patience and uh, a gentle hand because once it's broke, it's broke. There's not much you can do with it after that. So let's take a look. We've got a hole in the back which is where the wiring could come through. You likely could probably drill it anywhere and if you look at the back again, you've got this knockout area that could be knocked out but then you have to take this screw out to take this plate off and you don't want to get into that if you don't need to. So it's ideal that the wire would then come through here and then you've got all of these areas where you're going to be loading your wires into. What I want you to take notice of very carefully is this spring. Listen to the click. That's actually called a tamper spring and what that does is if you have this wired in, if somebody was somehow able to take this cover off, it would put the system into alarm or a trouble status and let you know that somebody's messing around with this. We're going to be wiring those tampers in series with the movement of the device. You've got jumpers in here that are there by the factory. These do a variety of different things. You really have to look at the instructions to see what these jumpers do. You can see there's two jumpers here. One is set up for alarm and one is set up for tamper. Then you've got these other ones that are over here in the corner that are set up for different things. Uh, the instructions have a variety of different things from uh, cats walking in your house to not setting it off, a walk test, a simulated test. There's a variety of things you'd be looking at. We're going to leave these jumpers as they are for the lab and maybe talk about what some of these things do in lecture. Now we get down to the nitty gritty, our wiring. This is actually a, uh, it's a four wire device because it needs two wires for power and the other two wires to set up the signal. And if you'll notice over here, you might not be able to see it. It says uh, zero volts, which would be the black or the negative, and then your 25 volt positive. In your control panel, there's an auxiliary power uh, terminal strip that is going to be needed for powered devices. Some of the powered devices are passive infrareds and glass brake sensors that look like this. This is a powered device. Then you have two contacts that say alarm. Uh, you have a contact that says alarm. You have another contact that says tamper. I need to put the end of the line resistor in this component. And I'm going to be putting it in series with these two uh, devices. I'll give you a diagram that shows you that a little bit better. And we're not going to be using this extra terminal. I'll put that in a future discussion. But the important part is, is when you're wiring it, obviously, we got to be careful. We're going to need tiny little screwdrivers, very uh, patient hands. And when you put this on, you got to put it on from, you know, get these tabs to fall in like that. And then once they do, this will then snap back into place. You won't need the screw that it actually came with that holds it into place because it's got a good snap action. And once again, to open it, twist your flat screwdriver, take your hands, and then very gently be aware that this is going to pull down to get it out. And remember, you want to be careful that you don't jam these jumpers and break the tabs. 
How does this thing exactly work? Once again, you've got a viewing window. The instructions show you the, the beam spread, if you will, of, of how much it can pick up and how, how far the footage is. Some of the jumpers are adjustable for uh, distance and width. And in a normal state when the panel's armed, you'll see this, you know, just kind of sitting up there doing nothing. But if you pass by it, this little red indicator light will turn on and then the system will go into alarm. So hopefully you learned a little bit about the passive infrared sensor that picks up a heat signature and the movement of that heat signature. See you at the next video.